let's do a lesson about blocks because some people have asked how to do blocks. So we have Field Artist open to a new show. I just chose the rectangle tool. We'll draw a rectangle. Choose the pointer tool. Right click to add some cast. You can change this to 80. We just added 80 cast. Now here's how to make it a block. Go to properties. What I did was I have the pointer tool. I right clicked on the form. Go to properties. Click on block. You can change your spacing here. It's 90 by default. And hit OK. And there's your block. Now the way you get this into rows and columns is just resize the form. So click plus to just zoom this in a little bit and use our slider to slide this into view. Um, by the way, you can see by the numbers here, one, two, three, these are the ID numbers for the people. If you want to, that tells you who's who. If you want to turn that off, just hit the I key and they go away. So let's make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just made it 10 wide and eight deep. Here's how it looks in 3D. If you wanted to make it uh, 8 wide and 10 deep, just change the dimensions of this. So just, just make this narrower and see now it's 8 wide and 10 deep. And they maintain their positions. And you transition a block just like any other transition. Just right click on there, hit transition, and we'll just do a float. And we float it to a certain point. Again, the red lines are telling when you've gone too far. If you lines get red, you're making people travel too far in the amount of steps. So hit Control I and insert some steps, and now you're back to normal. Now you could, here's a trick you could do if you wanted to do a certain kind of maneuver. You could actually make this thing larger. So what you could do then is hit the properties, and remember this is our second block. So let's just make it larger. Let's make it 120 by 120. We're going to space the people out some more and we're going to make the block larger. So we still want it wide enough to have eight people. So now it's still 8 by 10 and you see the motion there. Again, we need to insert some more steps to give people enough time to travel. So now what I just did is I have two blocks. Here's one at 0. Here's one at our new step. We're now in 49. It's bigger. So people are spaced out more and you just see the block expanding as you move. Another thing you can do, um, you can rotate a block. If you move your rotation point, I just chose a rotation tool off the, off the top here. I moved my rotation point. See this rotation point? Grab that, move it anywhere you want. Now you can hit a right click and go transition, pivot 90 degrees clockwise and we just pivoted 90 degrees. We'll insert a couple more steps there. So now what did we do? We had a block. We're expanding the block while moving it, and then we're going to rotate the block, and that's what we did here. We just rotated it. Kind of a tricky maneuver for people to do, but you can do it if you want. That's what it looks like in 3D. And that's just a little simple lesson on how to do your blocks.